Monsieur Arnott. This report talks a lot about how to uh, get around the rules effectively, how to increase the budget without uh, actually breaking the rules and ceilings of the multiannual financial framework. Uh, but what I want to focus on today is the text in the report which accuses the member states of uh, duplicitous behaviour when they don't want to give the European Union more money. Madam President, I am shocked. That's not a very nice thing to accuse the United Kingdom of. And David Cameron, as we all know, leads that government. The same David Cameron, of course, who gave us a cast-iron guarantee that if he became PM, he wouldn't let matters rest there about the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, well, he did let matters rest there, but I'm sure that wasn't really his fault, right? Uh, this is the Downing Street that recently promised us they had nothing to do with John Longworth's sacking as the head of the British Chamber of Commerce when he backed Brexit. I mean, I'm sure that phone call from an aide hours before the sacking was 100% coincidence, right? The Prime Minister who promised us he'd have net migration down to the tens of thousands a year if he was elected. Well, um, okay, I can't excuse that one at all. So we have this report in front of us which calls for finding ways to spend more taxpayers' money in 2017. A report which uh, calls for more spending in many areas and the one place where the report actually calls for cuts. Uh, I, I suppose the one area where it does that is to um, it, it actually ask for more funding to be able to implement the cuts. Um, so, whilst we're asking for more taxpayers' money for 2017, I think this report had better think about who it actually calls duplicitous. Uh, because if it's referring to Cameron, then who knows, it might actually be right for once. <laughs>